Hey guys, welcome to another draw and design tutorial. In this video, I will explain rabbit family modeling in 7 simple steps. I will also make the family for steps just like this one. If you haven't already, I ask you to please subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. Also turn on the notifications so you don't miss my future videos. The first step, we will choose a template which establish sort of rules or parameters for the family. So we are making a new family and choose the generic model from the list appear in the dialog box. Before we move further, I first quickly set up the view window, so we only need the reference plane window and the left or right view window. Then we can rearrange these windows using tile window option in the view tab. In the second step we will add some reference planes. As you can see we have already two reference planes in the reference level window. So we will add one more vertical plane on either side of these existing reference planes. Then go to left view and add two more reference planes at bottom and left sides of existing reference planes. Then use the mirror tool and mirror them up and left side. So in total we need 5 horizontal and 5 vertical reference planes as we are making 4 step family model. In third step we will add dimensions. So we go to reference level window and select align dimension tool. Then make dimension line from insertion point to the reference plane. Then go to left view and make align dimension between every vertical reference plane and then make them equal by clicking EQ. Do this for horizontal ones. Also make align dimension for from the first reference plane to the last. Do this for the horizontal ones also. In fourth step, we will make parameters and constraints. Go to reference level window and click on dimensions. Then click on create parameter and label dimension panel. We will make the width parameter and check the instance option. This will allow us to change the width after we load this family into our project. Now click OK and do the same for length and height parameter. In the fifth step, we will build our geometry. Go to create tab, form panel and select solid extrusion. Now take the line tool from the draw panel and draw the shapes for step.
Make sure you make a close boundary and then close the solid extrusion command. As you can see in the reference level window, our width parameter is not aligned with the form. Hover over the shape and drag from the blue arrow and place it on the reference plane and then lock it. This will make it a constraint to the width parameter. In the sixth step, we will flex the model. Now flex is the Revit term to check the model to make sure it is not broken. This means we will change the dimension of the parameters and see the form dynamically change with it. Next we will apply the materials to our family. Go to 3D view, select the family model and go to properties panel material and finishes section. Then click on this button and this will open the material browser. So this is a cast in place concrete steps. So we will find these materials and apply on our model. In the seventh step, we will load this family into our architectural model. So create a new architectural model and then come back to the family editor and load this into the project. Later on you can flex the model again by changing the dimension from the properties panel. And that's all for today's video. If you like this video, please hit like button. Give your suggestions in the comment section and share this video with others. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.